once upon a time I had a friend she was coming from TZ akaniambia uh, mom niko na wageni wasi na washa mnajua kile na maanisha niko na wageni na maanisha i have men that wants ladies so organize mimi hawakunipatia budget nilikuwa na work to na normally of course hawakuji kulala kwangu sina hata nyumba kubwa ya ku accommodate people so me i go to uh, lovington there was a house nilikuwa najua hapo mm, close to lovington mall nikasema acha niende niangalie hiyo airbnb it was a four bedroom on compound airbnb mnajua hizo manyumba so let's say bedroom zote kwa hiyo villa ilikuwa kama seven hivi the lady to called me and tells me they like the house and stuff i book for them me i get the money eh hey, paka nikafurahia hiyo biashara because nimepaiwa pesa hata si wako niambia budget me after nilipata nyumba nikawaambia this is it they just sent money like extra extra money and they were staying for only two days they were six men that was 2020 when 2020 start of uh march apo 2020 march so when the guys came to cut the long story short wakafika nairobi i i took them to the apart nini to the villa that was now in runda so when we went to runda nikaweka kwa nyumba and stuff and stuff wakaji wakaji fix nini nini so my own was to go back and look forward for ladies i had friends then so i had to get like three friends from my friends and other outside friends unajua to these deals you have to put your friends to kama kweli you want your friends to benefit and then i had to look for other three ladies now from outside which niliwatoa facebook siku agata na Nisi, nilikuwa na Instagram but siku anga active from Mombasa moja wawili Nairobi nikapata madem huyo wa Mombasa akalipiwa ticket akakuja Nairobi so madem wakakuwa sita so plus mimi saba plus ule dem eight so sisi ndo let's just say sisi ndo wenye deal and stuff na sasa kuna the other six ladies they came hata wanaume wako kwa chuzi ati Mr. Kidem anaka they just said bring ladies ndo ujue nyewe kweli mtu akitaka kukutumia atakutumia ataki kujua unakaaje just bring the ladies initially mimi na ude mwingine mtizedi tulikuwa tulale pamoja like in one room so that everyone can have a room but kuna mwanaume mmoja sasa ndio i think mkubwa wao odogu au sasa ndio alikuwa anataka apitie kila one 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 siju kama mnani get nilale na huyu see we are six no the ladies wenye walitisha ni sita alale na hao wote six fast before how are wengine wa wapewe siji kama mna get what i mean this is how they use you in these rituals ati huyu mkubwa wao ndiye anataka kulala na kila mtu and then after melala na kila mtu is when you are allowed to sleep with the rest of the men you get nilikuwa alafu the deal was too good ladies walikuwa nalipo 165000 165000 na hiyo ni just a night and then kesho yake pia walipo hivyo and then wenye walikuja from far watalipo because niliwaambia hata wengine wadanganya wametoka mbali bado wapewe fare and then you get to shop you understand hizi vitu zenye nawaambia when the deal is too good amsisa hawa kuna stima kumezimwa and everything so tumekuwa kwa room moja this guy said let's sit in a kuna kuangana hizi rooms za juu upstairs and then zinetangwaje tv room or something atuko sasa downstairs tuko sasa kwa rooms juu but hapo there is a sitting room so they said because there is no electricity and uh, we are not going to use the phones and stuff let's stay here kwa room moja mind you we can see what is happening at that point and then everywhere is kuna giza so we sit and we are like everyone here wanakuita paka jina yako ni kama venye teacher anawaitaga shule present 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 toka utuliza could if, is anyone wearing a bra or pant Yaani sasa unaona yeah tulikuwa acha acha target maji tulikuwa kwa hiyo tv room let me even talk in a slow mo baby nitakuwa sawa so to after tv room tukakuwa tukagatha hiyo hapo wote but mtu mmoja ndiye alikuwa na miss which ni mkubwa wao the guys knew what the guy was doing but sisi tujui so tuko hapo kwa family room tumekaa tu sasa hatuna simu hakuna conversation sorry hakuna conversation and then someone goes hata tujui nani anaongea at that point so one goes like is anyone wearing a, a, a bra a, pa, a bra and pant kuna mwenye ameva bra and pant and then they were not talking in the they are not they are not kenyans so they are not tanzanians ni ma west africans but they have lived their let's say half life maju mimi nikauliza but why 
no one gave me an answer and as kujua ndani anaongea that aside tukaka tukaka and this guy started saying if anyone can guess what's the time atakuwa wa kwanza kuingia kwa room fulani like what a joke someone has to guess what's the time at that time ndo inge kwa room because kumbe sisi now is this is something i get to understand but die when you is if to zina working it has time they just don't wake up and do it at a certain time iko na wakati wanafanya na kama umefuatilia sana you people that go to do ngono with and you suspect someone there is a certain time anakwambia let's do it now so tumeka let me tell you guys tulika tukaka hakuna mtu anaongelesha mwingine the men are just there seated so kwa hiyo sofa seat ilikuwa ya round the men are seated there wasiana wameka what part tuliambiwa tusiongeleshane do not talk do not talk to me i don't talk to you tusiongeleshane tunyamaze they tell you don't talk na na inatoka na uzito ile sauti nzito don't talk tunanyamaza so mimi because me yenyewe mimi i was not born to to keep quiet me i know myself so mimi nikasimama ikaka like 2 hours imepita and i was like i'm even telling this tanzanian girl hako anajua kizungu vizuri she's late now hako anajua kizungu vizuri so it was a struggle na ongea na yeye na mwambia mom deal ni nini hapa tunafanya nini hapa si mimi naenda si nilishaleta wasichana ushaikuwa na ile sasa instincts zako zinakuambia kitu mbaya is about to happen Ananiambia mama tulia wacha tupate pesa wewe unajua nimetoka mbali unajua lazima hii pesa nirudi nayo na watoto hivyo anaanza kuniambia sasa mimi niko zile za me i don't have a problem but sasa tumenyamaziana hapa the men wanaume wameka in a certain position very very weird na they are not talking to anyone so that was number one red sign the other ladies wao wamesikia deal is good wameka tu me and one part of the three friends i had moja akasimama i won't mention her name akasimama akasema anataka kwenda washroom akaambiwa asiende washroom now that's when i saw hapa kuna kitu mbaya is about to happen i go and i ask this guy i go to nimetoka kwa penye nimeka and i walk towards the na kuna giza sasa unaenda kitap tap uone ni wapi nikaenda nikaguza mtu mmoja and no one wacha niwaambie hakuna hata mmoja aliongea nilikuwa nawaongelesha hakuna mmoja ananiongelesha they just told me stop na kierere yangu na huyo besti yangu mmoja akatukatoka tukaambiana twende tutafute washroom hata tutoke na huko nje tutafute mahali so when we were on our way sasa unajua hawa naume wanatuambia tu stop 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 hakuna kitu wanatuambia na mind you niko na katululu but siwezi washa hiyo kanini siwezi washa hata nione mwangaza siwezi because watajua niko na simu i tell my friend tutoke hapa nika jua wasiki Kiswahili nikaongea tu nika nika whisper nikamwambia tutoke hapa twende tu huko huko downstairs juu tulikuwa juu twende downstairs kuangalia kitu we walk downstairs and now let me tell you guys downstairs there was enough light there was enough light but ukiwa hata juu uweziona kama kuna mwangaza yoyote na ikukua mwangaza ya stima haikukua like light haikukua light hiyo ikukua hiyo light ilikuwa light kama you know when umewasha makando mingi a lot of candles i go upstairs nikarudi tukasema hey guys kuje ni chini kuna stima so huyo mshana mtanzania she was so slow in a way that yeah alikuwa anataka kukaa hapo juu ajisiki kukuja huko chini the guys didn't come they didn't understand swahili they didn't come downstairs but they knew what was about to happen huyo rafiki yangu atizedi she didn't come downstairs so nikauliza nikaambia madam hapana kenye inafaa kufanya hapa kila mtu tuchukue bag yake najua ni pesa mnataka na unaona siku mbili hiyo ni pesa ngapi 300 na I know you want money but hapa naona there's something very risky. Mimi nilikuwa nishaanza kuget hiyo paka roho yangu ilikuwa inapumua haraka. Wakakata wa hawa na ume wote wakateremka chini. Tulikuwa tunaitwa juu but wakakuja chini. Kumbuka I had three friends wenye mimi nimekuja na wao na wengine nimetoa Facebook. Si wajui hizo ni wasichana tu walikuwa wanataka ngai hizo connections. And I tell my two friends kwa nini am get Kenya inaendelea? Mimi naona kama kuna kitu weird inaendelea kwa hii nyumba. My one friend is the only person she is very strong in prayers. She is the only person alikuwa anaelewa kenye inaendelea. Anasema hapa enyewe Tiana hapa kuna kitu mbaya. She used to live here in Ruaka too. For example West Africans kuna nyungu anatumianga kunini kunini kasava kupiga piga kasava that kanyungu that hiyo ndio ilikuja iko na nyama imechemshwa nyama imechemshwa